just a really bright, right, bright light. Thank you, Joe. Actually, it makes it a bit easier because I can't see any one of you, so I don't feel nearly as nervous. Um, earlier, Joe, you had um, said that I was an amazing woman. I thought that that was crazy. My jaw dropped. Um, I'm not amazing. God is amazing, and he's changed my life 100%. <laughs> um, I had a little breakdown earlier before the night started, too. Just I was just overwhelmed with how much God has changed my life. So I just want to share that with everyone and um, testify that God is real and he's powerful and I wouldn't have believed it. I can't believe that I'm really here a year and a half ago. Uh, I didn't believe in God and all my life I grew up without God. Um, I was an intellect and I debated <laughs> philosophical debates a lot and just decided God was um, a fabrication of the human psyche that we just made it up because we needed something to help us cope with life and um, not get distraught with, you know, just being meaningless beings that floated around and were just a product of evolution. So I thought it was created and um, I never looked for God. When I think about my story, I realized God had always been there and was looking after me and saved me many times. Um, I. I debated how to to give my testimony a couple of times. I, I just got baptized six months ago and and tried to figure out what how to really explain what happened because <laughs> it's kind of it's a miracle, um, and I really wanted to justify or explain or ration the way I had been. I wanted to explain like no, it's not my fault. I I did all these things because of this and that's why. And I tried to create this science about why I, I was doing the things I was doing, but it doesn't even matter. Um, I'm going in the right direction, and I found this peace and this this reason for living, and I just need to share that with people. And I, I hope I don't forget um, the gravity or the how how different my life is. Like I'm I'm afraid of forgetting how bad it was. <laughs> so sharing again just reminds me how how real God is. So before I started coming to church, it was about a year and a half ago. Um, I had basically found myself doing lots of ecstasy and, and in the party scene and um, going through peaks and waves of uh, happiness, manic depressive really. I was going through extreme highs and crashing down to extreme lows and for whatever reason that I got to that place, um, I don't know if it's important, but I started having suicidal ideations and I just truly hated my life and was trying to escape um, any feelings I had to, I was that I didn't want to deal with. Um, I also was a closet smoker for probably 13 years and I tried many things to try and quit smoking. I, I was too embarrassed to, ex to tell anyone that I was smoking because I'm a respiratory therapist, so... Um, <laughs> I know, it's just so ironic, but it was my secret best friend and I, it was a, a crutch for sure. Um, I, I tried Zyban and Champex and hypnotism and the patch and everything else. So that was something I've struggled with a lot. And um, I don't smoke anymore at all. I, I just don't even want to. And it, that's a miracle in itself. Like I'm, I'm not doing drugs anymore and I'm, I feel happy for no reason at all. And to give you an idea of what it was like before, like I, was, I felt like I was going crazy. I would sit in my room and just hate on myself. And, um, and I developed an eating disorder probably from 13 years old, which is, I don't know, it just screams like something's wrong with this picture if you're 13 years old and you're, you're already obsessing about weight. And um, that I've battled with all my life too, bulimia, which is a really strange psychological disorder. Um, and it, it took a lot of my life away. Like I just struggled so many years just trying to control, keep control um, somehow in my life. And that was you know, with the scale, my worth and my um, esteem was was related to the weight on the scale, and I desperately tried to appear normal on the outside, and um, I was I became unpredictable. I didn't even know how I would feel the next day. I, I would be I was antisocial, and um, I don't know. I just I took a lot of risks, and I was just never happy. I would try to find things to fill fill my life or keep myself busy and um, about a year and a half ago I met James through a friend at the hospital and slowly we became friends and he got to know just how deep my troubles were and how empty I was um, 
I started grilling him about his God, saying, what would your God say to me? Like, how, how can you believe in God? And how can you be so happy? Like, why are you... I was just so stressed and anxious and angry and and he just was so calm and patient and he just shone that light into my life and became very comforting so I kept going back to him and, and we'd, we'd um, have these just great discussions and eventually he decided to pray for me and it was the sinner's prayer I guess um, he said just echo it in your heart you don't really have to know other than wanting to change like just just echo this in your heart so he prayed the prayer and about a week later I was running on the dikes in Richmond and um, out of nowhere I just felt like God's voice hit me I I felt washed over with this sense of being loved and forgiven and being worth something and I think it was God just saying like I love you life is worth living but just I love you and I I had to stop and I was heaving and crying in the middle of the day on the trail <laughs> I probably looked a little crazy <laughs> But I really was. I felt like I was crazy. I was going crazy. And I didn't know what normal was anymore. But this feeling was so powerful that, um, I don't know, I just knew it was God. And I had never believed in God before. So it was very dramatic for me or impactful. But it wasn't, it was a whole year and a half. It's been a whole year and a half of transformation. And again, I the bulimia's gone. I've gained eight pounds and I don't care. <laughs> I just feel healthy and I'm... I'm just social again, like I, I want to be involved with people and create relationships that last and that matter and I'm inspired to have kids. I used to think having kids was selfish and stupid <laughs> and there was no point and um, yeah, it was just a, a total turnaround. I feel, I just feel normal. I have normal struggles, I still, I have a lot of character faults that I have to work on every day and I'm, I'm just so normal that when I look back a year and a half ago, I think like there's no doubt in my mind that God exists. Why are we so afraid to search for him? Like, what is it about our culture or our, I don't know, like why is it so hard to believe in God or search for God and what stops us? And for me, it was just the, the stigma, I guess, of religion and I was fearful of being brainwashed. I thought, well, I don't want to be this little robot just filling my mind with something that's fabricated like I'm, I'm smarter than that it can't be that <laughs> and um kind of lost my train of thought <laughs> i guess i guess i just i don't know what stops us and now that i know it's it's not so scary to search and to ask people um and just talk to people about the troubles that we have and just to lean on each other and and search like there's i don't know what was stopping me and um I've turned around so much. Like I just never want to. I never want to forget that. I never want to forget how 180 that was for me, and um, and how amazing God's love is. Like we can't, we can't give up on God. Like He's there, and all my life, like through all the things that I've done, like I should have overdosed at some point, or or crashed my car when I was driving drunk, or <laughs> um, had a baby out of wedlock. I, like there's so many things that could have happened and they didn't happen to me and I think thank God I just thank God and I'd never want to give up on him um, I believe in things I believe that things happen for a reason now I didn't believe that before either but I truly believe that now like I wouldn't be where I am if I didn't go through what I've ha what I have gone through so standing here today giving my testimony is being is for a reason i don't know what that is uh, i believe everyone's story is equally as powerful and impactful so for some reason i was chosen to tell my story and for some reason everyone here is here tonight so i just um, i hope that i've inspired someone or anyone or everyone to either look for god or listen for god or um, respond to god if you know already believe in him but don't ignore him if you have any inkling that He's looking for you. Um, I'm there to tell you that he is, and you have to try. No matter how scary or, or whatever barriers that are stopping you, um, you're worth it, and you have to you have to give God a chance because he's there waiting for you. Thank you. <laughs>